Okay, right. It is the last day of the year for class, not the last day of the year, but thank you for joining and thank you for all your support this year. It's been amazing. We're going to start our workout in standing. We're going to do our dynamic warm up and we're just, just going to run through the basics of everything today. So let's get started. Rolling the shoulders, breathing in, breathing out. That's it. We're going for five. Nice deep breaths. Perfect, last one. And taking those arms out to the side, let's roll those shoulders. So we're gonna move through all the sort of basic moves today from a push, pull, posterior, anterior point of view, so slightly different, but all the same sort of exercises you know. We're not gonna do anything too complicated today. And then let's do big circles with those arms, loosening off the shoulders. Beautiful, make sure you're breathing. All right, let's start with our dynamic warm up. So, standing on your left leg, pull your right knee into your chest, pause for one second, and change. Breathing out. That's it. We're going to do three each side, alternating. Great job. So, this dynamic warm up gets your muscles, joints, nerves, your balance, your brain, everything working. Great, last one. All right, now grabbing under the shin and under your knee and pulling up that leg. So we're stretching out your butt and change. Good, and change. Breathing out. Whoops, find your balance. One more each side. Last one. Perfect, we're gonna stretch the front of the thigh, your quad, pull your heel towards your bottom, tuck those hips under, really feel that stretch all the way from the top. And change. Good, changing sides. Nice, now on this last one, you can either hold it here, or we're gonna reach forward. Pausing a little bit longer, get your position and coming up and changing sides, breathing out and reach. Beautiful. All right, coming up. Cross your right leg over your left, hang down to the floor, relax your head and coming up, opening up in between palms forward, change sides. Really try and relax that head and change breathing out and you can see with each one i get a little bit further that morning stiffness starts to ease off and reaching down one more each side and change last time beautiful opening up those legs nice and wide Taking your, both your hands, slide them down your right leg, sticking your bum out behind you. Stretch those hands all the way around to the left and coming up. Stay on that left side. Sliding down, reach and up. Two more each side. Feeling that stretch in the back of your thighs, your hamstrings. And up. Beautiful, reach it away, stretch those hands as far forward as you can. Last time, each side. And breathing out, stretch. Perfect, let's face our right leg. So your right leg's in front, making sure you drop down into quite a nice low long lunge, knee over ankle, hands on the floor. We're gonna twist. Take your hand up to the ceiling, follow your hand with your head. Then place your hands on either side of your front leg, straighten that front knee, bending it back, twist the other way. Nice, and stretch that hamstring. One more each side. Beautiful. Stretch. 
perfect job let's change legs left leg in front long lunge and twist follow your hand with your head really get that stretch straightening up that front leg bend other way and stretch one more each side breathing out Beautiful. Straighten that front knee. Nice work. All right. Coming up into standing. My leg just dropped down to the floor. It wasn't meant to. <laughs> okay. We're going to go into some lunges. We're going to step back into reverse lunges. So standing up nice and tall. Have some space behind you. We're going to alternate sides. We're going to do 10 normal and then we're going to do 10 touching the ground so we really get that butt activated. Standing up tall, shoulders down and back, tummy in. Stepping back into that nice long lunge. Make sure your knee goes over your ankle. You don't want to be too much there. It puts a huge strain. And stepping back. Changing sides. That's it. You want to try and keep your chest up. Breathing out. We're going for 10. Perfect job. Nice big step back. We've got two more each side. One more each side, then we're going to add to it. Beautiful. So now, as we step back, and you can break it up into two different sections, you're going to step back. Now, one from here, I want you to hinge that hip back so you touch the floor. So it's really coming from the hip. So I'm not just rounding my back. I want to keep my back straight. Touch and stepping up, changing sides. So I really want you to think of sending that bum back as you touch the floor. We kick into that butt. And up, nice work. Let's go for three more each side. Still focusing on shoulder blades down and back. Two more. Push through that front heel as you come up. One more each side. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, coming down onto your mat. We're going to go into some push ups. I'm still struggling with my push ups a little bit, so. Mine don't look amazing. Next year, they'll get better. Two options. You can have your knees on the floor, shoulders down and back, have your hands directly under your shoulders. Make sure you're not sticking your bum up. You wanna tuck that bum in, and then you're gonna go down from here. I want you to make sure you keep your elbows tucked in as much as you can. I don't want them winging out. If you can do a full push-up, please do so, okay? The full push-up would look like this. Again, back stays nice and straight, dropping down and up. I can't go all the way down with my shoulder. Right, let's go for 10. Shoulders down and back, tucking in that bottom, breathing out. The most important thing is to keep your back dead straight. Tummy pulled in. Beautiful, so you don't wanna be arching as you come up. That's perfect, guys. Keep the belly button pulled in. Let's go for five. Four, keep those elbows tucked in as much as possible. Beautiful. Two more. One. And then take it back into that child's pose. Have a little stretch. Perfect job. Amazing. Right, coming to lie on your stomach. So we're doing all that we've done the legs, we're going to do the back, we've done the arms. So coming to lie on your tummy, we're going to go into our skydiver. Now the skydiver works your posterior chain. The most important thing with this is to not arch your back, okay? So in this position, I want you to squeeze your bottom, have your legs wide, roll your heels towards each other so that you're digging your pubic bone into the floor. Hands by your side. Now from here, you're gonna lift your head and your forearms five centimeters off the floor. Squeeze those shoulder blades, don't arch your back. Reach those arms forward into a Y squeeze them back so from here you're reaching forward and squeeze 
keeping that tummy pulled in we're going for 10 breathing in breathing out making sure you don't arch your back squeeze those abs in away from the floor keep that chest slightly lifted let's go for four more three two one beautiful well done coming to lie on your back right we're going to go into our sit-ups we're doing all of our basic moves so from here you have options you can either do a crunch hands behind the head crunching up bringing your shoulders towards your hips you can do a sit up with your arms forward rolling all the way up all the way down or you can do sit up with your hands behind your head so i want you to pick which one you want to do if you're doing the crunches you're going to go for 20. if we're doing sit-ups we're going for 10. okay all that matters is that you use your abs pulling that belly button in and don't pull on your head make sure it's your abs that are shortening to pull you up so let's go breathing in breathing out rolling up through that spine that's amazing picking whichever exercise works for you great job nice keep going if your hands are behind your ears i actually want you to hold onto your ears because that way you don't pull on your head or throw your hands forward if your hands are here keep them here you're doing great we've got four more beautiful three two more last one one more for good measure amazing job well done right let's grab your foam roller so we're going to do now a little circuit working our whole body using the foam roller so feet on the roller have the roller on the floor horizontally bring it as close to your bottom as you can from here we're going to lift the butt up and down pushing through the heat the feet when you push through the feet make sure your legs don't come out you almost want to bring them in a little bit tuck them in to get that clench okay we're going for 15. let's go tummy pulled in breathing out to lift we're just lifting your back straight this time we're not curling through the spine lift up squeeze and down keep that belly button pulled in lift all the way that's it beautiful squeeze and lift we've got 10 more remember as you lift to kind of pull those heels in a little bit so you can see my knees over my ankles my heels that way you clench in that glute we are going to work the hamstrings as well in the next exercise tummy pulled in so this really is targeting here we got five more keep those abs engaged three two last one drop it down very nice have a little stretch if you need so now we're going to target the hamstrings we're going to lift up and from here you're going to roll those heels out and in for 10 and that works those hamstrings so keep your belly button in you're going to roll those the roller out and in 10 times okay make sure you've got it in close enough to start keep that back protected tummy pulled in and let's go breathing in breathing out squeeze tummy pulled in for six five three two one Woo. and relax it down hug those knees and that's a tough one beautiful right coming onto your roller 
as in putting your hands on your roller, sorry, not onto it yet. We're going to lie on it just now. We're going to hold a plank in this position. We're going to do a high plank. So your hands are on it, shoulders down and back. We're going to step those legs back and we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. So from here, make sure your shoulders over your hands, pull them down, step those legs back and let's go. So while you're in this position, I want you to think of shoulder blades away from the ears, slide them down. Pull that tummy in, breathing in, breathing out. Make sure the hips aren't dropping down to the floor. Keep a nice flat spine. Beautiful, we've got 10 seconds to go. And think of pushing through your chest. Beautiful, five, three, two, one. Dropping those knees down. Great, we're gonna go onto our stomach and we're gonna use the roller again. So from here, now this again, quite a tough exercise. I know I said I was keeping it simple, but I clearly didn't. <laughs> right, you wanna have the border of your pinky fingers on the roller and your hands are nice and wide. Again, roll those heels towards each other, squeeze your bottom, head down. Now on a breath out, you're going to slide those shoulders down and back, push through the hands, and you want to lift your upper body, but you want to lift from your hip bones. So you're not arching your back. I'm not going like this. I actually want to lift from my hips. So it's a smaller movement, back stay state. We breathe out. Pushing down, lift. You can see the difference. My back's not arching. If I was arching, I'd be here. Okay, we're going for 10, breathing out, slide those shoulder blades down, squeeze your bottom. So you want to lift your body like a plank, breathing out, set the movement from the shoulder blades, slide those shoulder blades down first, then lift. Careful, you're not arching your back, Lauren. Lift from your hip, try and lift your hip bones off the floor. So you're lifting, literally trying to lift your back, stay straight to your hip bones, push down in those arms and lift. You can see I'm not arching my back. It's a smaller movement, but it's harder. Okay. And again, squeeze and lift. Pushing down through those hands. That's it. Beautiful. Try and hold it a second. Let's go for three more. So you also feel your triceps working. Beautiful. And coming up onto your knees, let's go into a child's pose, stretch it out. Have your hands still on the roller. Stretching it out. Turning those palms up to the ceiling, it just opens up your shoulders. Beautiful. Now we're going to lie on our roller. So we're going to do our sit-ups on the roller. Now these are one of my favorite exercises, but apparently they're not everyone. So let's see how you go. You can always do a crunch on the roller. What I would suggest is have your feet further away from the roller because that does make it a little bit easier. So again, the options. You can crunch. By being on the roller, it just adds a little bit of a uh, an instability. You can do your normal sit-up with your hands here, rolling forward or hands behind your head. If you're doing crunches, you're going for 20. If we're doing sit-ups, we're going for 10. Move your feet as far forward seconds. as you need. Let's go. Tummy pulled in, back glued to the roller. <sighs> Breathing out and curling down. That's it. So you can crunch it. Rolling up, nice. You can have your hands forward, beautiful. Curling down, nice and slow. Perfect. Use your breath to help you come up. As you breathe out, you want to pull those abs in. Great job. We've got three more. Curling down. Two. Perfect. Last one. Beautiful, lying back on that roller, 
hands out to the side just have a little stretch here for five breaths so when you're in this position relaxing I don't want you to worry about your back touching the roller or anything just completely relax imagine those shoulders melting over the roller and with every breath out you just get more relaxed stretching everything out beautiful job we're gonna go for one working everything curling up let's go come up into standing okay we're gonna combine our leg exercise and our posterior exercise by doing our standing single leg deadlift you're gonna stand on your right leg left leg behind you and arms up to the ceiling but I want your arms in line with your back leg, so they're not right above your head, they're kind of at an angle. In this position, slide those shoulder blades down and back, so now you're recruiting that posterior chain. You don't want to be arching your back, you want to have your body in line with that back leg. Standing leg slightly bent, keep those shoulder blades set, breathing in and breathing out to come up. That's it, we're going for 10. Really focus on pulling those shoulder blades down all the time so i'm permanently working this posterior chain which goes all the way down you want to bring yourself up with your hamstring and your butt <sighs> breathing in and our tummy pulled in keep that form beautiful five more that's it try and have your arms a little bit more straight elbows straight slide those shoulders down we got two more. Tummy in. Last one. We're literally hinging from that hip. Perfect job. Shake out that leg. Let's change sides. Arms up, arms straight. Shoulder blades down. Tummy in. Let's go. Breathing in and out. Keep your body and your leg in one line. So you're literally just hinging from this point here beautiful squeeze those shoulder blades down and back don't forget about those shoulder blades breathing in that's it we got two more nice last one and relax perfect job well done coming onto your mat we're going to go into our plank position and do our commando. Now the commando goes from a high plank, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, alternating sides. So we kind of start in a push-up position, go down to a plank, go up. Right, we're going for 10 alternating sides, five each arm. Let's go. Tummy pulled in, try and keep your body nice and still. So we go down, down up up make sure your butt doesn't start to rise keep your bottom in line with your shoulders that's it tummy pulled in breathing in breathing out i don't want to see those butts lifting three more going for 10 count for yourself last one for me Whew. Keep going, finish your 10, keep your bottom down, try and let your bottom go down with your shoulders. Your back stays in one straight line. I know it's tough, well done. <laughs> Great job, coming onto your back. We're finishing strong guys, finishing strong. Right, legs up into tabletop, hands behind your head. We're gonna go into our oblique twist. We're gonna slow it down though. I want you to twist, come back to the middle and drop it down. And then go the other side. Let's go for 10, breathing out. You wanna really get that opposite shoulder to your knee. So by slowing it down, we can focus on form. Breathe out as you twist. Perfect. We've got six to go twist slow and controlled keep that back glued to the floor 
Beautiful. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Hug those knees into your chest. Beautiful job. Let's have a little stretch. Sure. We managed to work hard in a very short space of time. Hold your right knee into your chest. Stretch that left leg out down along the floor. I'm very impressed. On Friday the 22nd, you guys are both here. Right from here, pull that knee across to your left side. Stretching out your low back. Have your right arm out to the side, palm up. Dropping that knee to the floor. That's it, stretching it out. Good job. And bringing that knee back into your chest, bring your other knee in to join it. And now hold your left leg, stretch that right leg down. And pulling that knee across. So now it goes down to the right side, keep that left arm out to the side, twisting, breathing out. Amazing job. Right, hugging those knees into the chest. Let's roll your head side to side on the floor, rolling that chin to your shoulder and go to the other side. All the way around. Nice work. And let's roll up into sitting. Whoop, whoop, we did it. Thank you so much. Lauren, Felix, I so appreciate your support in the mornings. Lauren, it's great to have you as part of our morning crew.